Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to replace expressions if your character has a morph-based face. In this example here, you can see that when I use the same puppet technique on these, on these identical monsters, the one on the right will have a much more exaggerated expression on his mouth when the jaw is opened. This is because I've modified that particular expression's morph target from the original. The first step to doing this is to load your model into 3D Exchange and opening up the expression editor like I've done here. I'm in the jaw tab and you can see that each facial state has a slider on the right side that determines the extremity of any expression. This jaw down profile is the one that I'm going to modify and you can see that the custom 12 sliders are maxed out for this expression. If I close down the expression editor, you can see that those particular morph targets are also in the morph list. What I want to do is export the first one as an OBJ. Now in Maya what I want to do is load up that OBJ and I'm going to do the same modifications to make it a bit more extreme. Once it's loaded up, I'll zoom out and you can see the mesh for this model's face here in that particular expression. What I'm going to do is go in and do some vertex editing to bring the jaw down a bit more. I'll skip to the final product here and you can see that the jaw is indeed a lot lower. What I want to do now is export that mesh as an OBJ and give it the exact same file name to comply with the model naming. Once that's done, I can go directly into 3D Exchange and select that morph target from the list and replace it with the one that I've just modified. You can see now he looks a bit more... surprised. That's basically all there is to it. Now once I've applied my updated model to iClone, I can check out the results using the Facial Puppet tool. Again, I'm singling out the jaw here to focus solely on that morph target. Now I can make him look a bit more monstrous with a larger mouth.